This is uh, installation of new ports, windows, deadlights, fixed deadlights on the Chrysler C22. Previously, this window or port was, I did it with uh, RV butyl rubber tape and through bolted and uh, never did the other three so when I learned of the new method using high bond very high bond 3M double stick foam, foam tape and 795 dowel caulk or to seal around the outer half half inch wide tape is going to go on here all this has been prepped the holes have been filled this was filled in the previous job I scraped all of this out on all four port windows port lights and uh, down to about just below where the screws holes are scraped out all that honeycomb filled it with West system thickened epoxy, thickened to the consistency of peanut butter. Then you have to file it, smooth it out. I painted it with white enamel to uh, keep it from the UV from getting to it, although mostly it will be covered by the uh, flange uh, trim ring on the inside. So you can use your original Chrysler trim ring but you got to take them off to do the work and then redo them. You can see on the other side there what it looks like. So we got it all masked off for the dowel on this side and I'm going to apply the tape and put some of the uh, plexiglass on there. All right now we have cleaned the surface with uh, acetone previous to max masking and then uh, <clears throat> the article in Sale Magazine, Don Casey says you should use a 50-50 mix of alcohol and water isopropyl so I took 91 percent and mixed it down you know guesstimate half and half and uh, wiped that all off because this tape is very sensitive to uh, contaminants I put it in pieces around the curves because that's the way he showed it in the article. And um, when you try to bend it, it kind of wrinkles, and I don't know if that's a good idea. So he showed it as in pieces, and really that is not the seal. That is just the adhesive. The exposed white part is going to be filled with Dow 795 uh, caulk for the final sealant and that's uh, the building adhesive caulk. Alright here's the first window put down on the adhesive tape 3M 4991 it's gray half inch wide and 90 mils thick which is 2.3 Three millimeters which is gives you around an eighth of an inch gap there of course the curve of the boat makes it a little more at the outer edge but that has to be filled with caulk uh, Dow 795 and I got the black so we'll see how that looks but I think it'll be fine better than white and I don't know if it comes in gray but I got the black from the uh, local plexiglass uh, supplier so <clears throat> when it's completed, I'll uh, show you the final result. I've got three more to do right now, and time's a wasting. All right, the uh, windows are installed. Nice 80 degree, 83 degree weather yesterday. Today it's about 42, 43 degrees. And it's going to rain later today, so we'll see if the things uh, leak or not. Hopefully this, this stuff seems to cure pretty slow. 
and uh, doesn't seem to be uh, the Dow 795 sealant uh, so far doesn't seem to be overly tenacious as compared to regular silicon. Uh, this is a silicon building sealant. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I installed the plexiglass windows with the 3M VHB 4991 tape. This was a five yard roll for about well, 30 bucks with the shipping. Stuff is pretty uh, this is the end of it. It doesn't even want to come off of the roll which is a plastic this stuff is really tough and when you put the plexiglass on you have to push it really hard it takes a lot of pressure to push it down to bend it. This is quarter inch plexi that I used I uh, my supplier only had quarter inch didn't have anything the original port lights were or dead lights were uh, 3 16 so quarter inch is a little overkill a little harder to press it in place but it it touches all over and when you line it up well when I get I'll show you when I get up there um, stand by second here On the caulking tube, this stuff, uh, the gap is pretty hard to get get the uh, caulk to go in all the way. And uh, I took a file and filed two edges off of here to flatten it a little bit. The best you can do, and I tried different methods, I tried a little flexible nozzle that I made out of some rubber tubing or silicon tubing and that didn't work couldn't force it in there the gap is pretty narrow in spots especially along the ends and along the bottom but the ends mostly um, so what I did is I've tried different things that this is a mixing stick for our West system epoxy I recommend you buy a little package of these over at your West marine dealer or something similar uh, a small plastic putty knife maybe and um, first I tried and file off the top here because it's got like a pyramid sh uh, triangle shape and I, I tried to file that off and shove the stuff up from underneath and at an angle and that worked sometimes after a fashion but it made a big mess what I ultimately found out on the last uh, window of course was you take and you put your caulk in as best you can and make a, a thick bead on the outside and then you just lift up against the boat and up against the bottom and it just pumps it right up in there you keep doing that all the way around so you and you can see when it touches the tape so you do that all the way around and bed it in there and then when you're done you can scrape off all the excess and you can use the rounded end to create a cove or fillet which I'll tell you in a second why that didn't work for me and the uh, mistake you should avoid when you set these windows you want to hold the window up against the plexi up against the boat and get it an even margin all the way around what I did is I drew with a pencil all the way around make a mark where it goes because when you're going to set this window you want to make sure that you have it lined up before you press it because once you press and touch there's no getting it off again without probably destroying the tape or the window so mask all the way around. The mistake I made was I masked 
right on the pencil line. Don't do that. Give yourself a little bit of a gap. Say, say an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth from outside of the pencil line. That way, when you do your caulk, you can run this as a fillet. And you can make a nice cove there. And then, after you're done and everything is smooth and the excess is, you peel off your masking tape and you'll have a nice smooth fillet up against the uh, boat in the window. Uh, I had it too close. When you pull it off, it kind of leaves a ridge. And then I tried to smooth it the old way with silicon. You could usually wet your finger with water or preferably with the ultimate uh, universal lubricant, saliva. And old regular silicon, you can run it over there and it won't even stick to your finger. And you can smooth it out. That doesn't seem to work with this stuff. It, it's stickier and softer. Well, it has a different consistency. It wants to bunch up. So I made kind of a mess on that. I took a razor knife this morning and cut around and then took a straight, uh, straight blade scraper, razor blade scraper, and scraped off some of that. I'm hoping this stuff will clean up with uh, mineral spirits. So, you'll probably get a better look by uh, using the masking tape a little further away, leaving a gap so you could have a nice little cove there with your caulk, and then you won't have to go over and try and clean it up like I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'm going to wait a little longer before I trim any more of this stuff. It's still kind of soft. It, it doesn't, it comes off clean off of your fingers, but uh, I want this stuff to really set up good before I go around it and disturb anything. And then I'm going to try a little bit of um, mineral spirits on a, on a rag stretched over a little piece of wood to kind of rub it along and see if I can get some of that black off of the hull. Eventually I may have to either uh, mask that off and, and paint around it, either paint it white or preferably probably paint it with a black stripe around it, just a small quarter inch or three eighths of an inch uh, trim around it just to cover up the mess I made. But all, all in all I like the look. Uh, if these things hold up, there's no screws through bolts or anything to uh, leak into the inside of the boat which is nice and I'm hoping uh, that they don't fall off over the winter or something <laughs> due to the cold or, or other but these are supposedly the way they're doing it at the uh, uh, on a lot of the, the boats commercially built boats nowadays is they're using this type of very high bond tape so I hope that's helpful to everyone and uh, so far this has been a work boat, not a sailboat. But I don't want it to sink and I want it to I don't want it to leak excessively. So this is hopefully going to be a completed project this summer. Thanks for watching.